Being at center court, David Anora along with Evan Boudreaux. The tip is up, and it falls over to Taylor Johnson. Dartmouth will control from the get-go. Looked like he wanted to slam that one down, Bill. Well, he didn't have much of a chance. He did not. There's a nice mid-range jumper for Daryl Smith. Swishes it through, and we're all tied at two. 18.57 to play here in half number one. If you're going to try to beat the press, Gill is the guy you want for Dartmouth. In transition, Taylor Johnson finds Connor Bain right in front of the hoop. And Bain, the bucket, and the harm. Clock, Gill, clock. Boudreaux has to settle for a deep three. Short. Johnson fighting for the rebound, but Cornell rips it away. It's Daryl Smith. Now up ahead to Whiteside. Whiteside pull up jumper from 14 feet is a go. And the first lead of the day for Cornell. And along with Mishler and Abdur Raouf for Cornell. Mishler driving. He'll kick it out to Fallis. He'll launch a three and knocks it down. Does well. Jojo Fallis. With 12 minutes to play here in half number one, Gill loses the basketball, stripped away by Fallis. Just what Cornell needed, creating a turnover, trying to get some momentum. Three ball from the corner, Mishler. There it is, six straight points for the Big Red, and they pull to within two. Morgan dribbling left hand, now crosses back over to the right, around a screen from Menorah. To the far side, Fallis gets his defender up in the air, launches a three, and he drills another one. Cornell with a two-point lead, their largest of the game. 22-20, just under nine to play. Boudreau driving baseline. Attacking the rim, he gets the bucket, and the foul yet again. Boudreaux back to the free throw line for Dartmouth. The rim and the rebound yanked down by Joel Davis. Cornell away with the basketball, running up ahead is Daryl Smith. He'll send it to the trailing Morgan. Morgan launches a three, and he buries it. Morgan with the triple, and that ties the game 29-29. Four threes, and it's a four-point lead. And that's where it was with Columbia as well yesterday. Here's Gill trying to find his way around the massive Honora. Does not. He slips. Now Morgan running the other way, and he stuffs it through. On the shot clock for the big green. Johnson weaving around with Gill. Now Johnson finds a wide-open Bame. Right post, and Bame with an easy layup. 35-35. Morgan will just launch a tremendous three. That was an NBA three without question. Smith, there it kick is. out. Three ball for Mishler at the buzzer. Shot for Morgan and Dartmouth with a chance to tie the game. 43-41, Gill dribbling left side. Under the hoop, lays it up, gets the contact and the bucket. A whirling dervish layup. Gets the Bame on the left block. Bame sends it out to Cameron Smith. Smith driving baseline, draws two, gets it to Bame right in front of the hoop. And it's easy from there for Connor Bame. Sends it out to Johnson. Johnson back to Bame. Bame spinning baseline. Finds a wide open Boudreaux right in front of the rim, and Boudreaux's got 22. Once again, Dartmouth taking a shot too early in the shot clock. Yeah, right. They have the lead. They need to make sure that they come to them. Morgan splashes it through from 22 feet out. Cut through a pair of defenders. Now Gill on the take. He'll send it out to Bame. Bame with a three in the air. Give it to Connor Bame. It's a Bame kind of day here at Lead Arena. Through a screen, gets it to Boudreaux. Boudreaux, left block. Hook shot, no, and the rebound for Cornell. Rushing up ahead, it's Whiteside. Whiteside lays it off the glass, and Cornell right back in it, down by 5, 70-65. If he misses. Next one for Morgan. That's good. They're going to have to chuck it anyway. Last ditch effort for Dartmouth. Does not fall. And the Big Green have a tough weekend here at Lead Arena. They lose both contests, one to Columbia on Friday, and now here Saturday to Cornell, 77-73. to 73.